Say something, I'm giving up on you. Okay, <laughs> so reading the book, Thief, where do you want to start? I think we should start on the beginning and maybe read the first three paragraphs. Okay. So like right here? Sounds good. And that's where we're going to stop. Do you want to comment first or do you want me to comment first? Um, you comment first and then I'll comment and then on the next round, how about I comment first and then you comment. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. question. I'm kind of confused as to who is speaking. I had the same thinking. I was, you know, it says first the colors, then the humans. I'm like, okay. So this isn't a human? Yeah, this isn't a human. Or is it, you know, some type of entity that is talking about humans? Or is it a human that is, sees themselves as separate from other humans? Maybe. They also seem to like really care about facts instead of emotion. Like, here's a small fact. Reaction to the aforementioned fact. Mm -hmm. Like, it's very different than I would think. Well, and what's interesting is that the f even like the formatting is very odd. Like, it has all these star Asterisk, symbols yeah. and like bolded. And so it's obviously very important to them. Hmm. Um, and I also liked the part where it says agreeable, affable, and that's the only the A. So I'm like, what are all the other letters of the alphabet? This dude knows a lot about himself if he can do the whole alphabet of adjectives. Well, and then this part where it's like, does this word, like, so the question, like, so the fact was, you are going to die, and then it says, I urge you to not be afraid. So, I mean, I'm kind of wondering, is this person a killer? Like, why, <laughs> why would they, why would they say something like that? I, I guess know. we don't know enough. Should we keep reading? I guess so. Okay, okay. so we're gonna stop after like two paragraphs? Uh, right here? Yeah, and then it'll be your Yeah, okay. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, that was the, so it says that was an introduction to themselves, and then it goes on to say, um, you will know me well soon enough. And so, I'm kind of wondering, I'm noticing almost that they're talking to me as the reader. Yeah. So I, I don't know if this is like a good question, but I, I almost want like, who do you think it is? Because I am like, they're clearly talking to us. We know that they see humans as like maybe separate something. I don't know if this makes me a cheater, but I kind of think it's death because the title of the chapter is death. Okay, that makes sense. And it says, here's a small fact, you're going to die. So like we are going to die. And then he says, I'll know you soon enough. So it almost seems like. Like, we are going to die, and we are all going... Like, it's because he knows we're all going to meet him. Well, and that part where it says, I rarely find people standing up. It's like, mm okay. Yeah. So, like, he already finds them in that position rather than he put them in that position. So my initial prediction about the whole, like, murderer thing is probably not accurate. Mm. I don't know. I so do, he's not like, causing it. I don't think so. Because it says, I, he's I, like I a, rarely find people standing up. Like, he's like a mortician. Yeah, he collects the dead bodies. Oh, that could be good. Um... Let's see, I was going to make a connection. I also, well, I also think this is going to sound really You're weird. Good. But that part where it says, the only sound I'll hear after that will be my own breathing and the sound of the smell of my footsteps. I'm like, okay, slightly disturbing. And for some reason, it makes me think of that song by The Police, where it's, I think it's The Police, where it's like, I'll be watching you, or every step, step you take. take. Yeah. Like, or every like, move you make, every breath you take, I'll be watching you. I'm like, this is the song. <laughs> like, if, just on that line alone. Like, Wow. It also kind of makes me think of that song. Maybe you never had like a dark, depressing period in high school, but I did. You know, the one that's like, let the bodies hit the foot. <laughs> <laughs> that song you're talking about? No. But I could see the connection. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. I guess should we keep reading? Okay, where do we want to stop? After a this small theory? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to comment and say that I like something because we've just been questioning. Yeah. I think that it's really interesting that there's all this emphasis on colors, but also I have no idea what a chocolate covered, not covered. <laughs> I know what chocolate covered things are like, what a chocolate colored sky is. I've never seen a brown sky before. Yeah, I, I almost wonder, I, I almost wonder if, if we really are true in our like our connection that we might think it's death. Does death have a different field of vision than? Or like it's do? got a different. It interprets color differently. 
Yeah. So, you know, it's like, is their interpretation of color different? I don't know. I also, I don't know, I think of, I don't know, I think of like Wizard of Oz, where like the dark, it's like that sepia color. Oh, so it's like a black and white movie. Kind Maybe of. this is old. Maybe it like takes place a long time ago. I could see that, because it says like dark, dark chocolate. Although um, the world was never black and white. Or do you think that the dark, dark chocolate is not necessarily about the color, but the general feeling the, of like, the sky? Rich and like creamy. rich and like, or some people consider dark chocolate a little more bitter. Oh. And if it is death, like they would have a bitter and jaded opinion. Yeah. Hmm. Should we stop here?